The thing is, well, thing is, I mean, like, if I took a picture of that now, I'd be like, there's a big screw of sunset in the middle of the street, and I'm just straight, I'm quite straight. Where's my wallet? 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 Because uh, it'll break the pipes because of how cold it is. What I do is have a walk around the uh, nightstand, around the outside of it.
twisted my arm a little bit too much there. I've always liked that the fact that, that down hit it down this way they've still got the old fashioned lamppost. So it gives it sort of like an old fashioned sort of uh, traditional sort of look to this area. Very nice. I think the Victorians built this. Is that baby herring? Is there a nest down there? Right, tied to be in go back 200 years you'll see that most of this was just cliff look at two Victorians built all this on this crazy We would have thought by now that some of this would have collapsed, given all the uh, the tide and the weather and everything that's been going on for the, for the past 150 years since this was all built. Sort of like a haze in the dis in the distance. My other hand. Someone explain to me what 
this is. It's a pipe that comes from the ground. It's rusted as hell. Looks like it's 100 years old. And it goes to that then. There's, that's obviously a uh, man-made wall there. With the goal in it, that's obviously eroded. So this used to be like a little dam or something. What's going on here? Can you explain that for me? And here comes the scary bit when the wall gets really high. Have they not put like, a safety wall here? That's like a fifty. That's a fifty-foot drop down there. I do not like going anywhere near that wall. Could easily fall down there, and you'd and actually if you fell over that. You'd actually die. And there's Burnback Peter. Built somewhere in the 1860s. Be modified a bunch of times. <laughs> I wonder when that was put there. Be like 60 years ago. Hmm. It's always graffiti in there. It wasn't the same font as well, they can't do their own thing. I'm not going anywhere near that wall. I'm the herd and burn back.
Christ, I don't know how old this is. This was built when Queen Victoria was, like, young. <laughs> Crazy to think. And there's a nice little uh, building for uh, the Burnback Re uh, Regeneration Trust. That's been here for a very, very, very long time. Well, the building has anyway, but... They've got a uh, Facebook group. Oh. I can always take a look at and support. Now, originally that door wasn't there. They obviously uh, cut through the uh, ben you know, a very, very, very long time ago. Cut through the wall, but the door there. Cause the building has always been there, but it's, that door hasn't always been there. And the uh, There's only uh, one, there's only the, what, that bit on the floor. Yeah, the ground floor. A bit on top of it. Oh, that's a fort. Let's get to the... Let's get to the other side. I'll have a shot up to here. Take a look at the uh, Northern Jetty. Believe it or not, that far left hand corner that you can see in the distance of the pier, there used to be a jetty sticking at, all the way out there as well. Towards the uh, southwest. But it was demolished in like the 1930s, or maybe. Yeah, it appears to be a. Uh, it's changed many faces during this very long history. Lovely to go on it someday. Just so I know I have. Problem is, it's 150 years old. And it's a listed building, so repairing it is uh, expensive and difficult. I think that never gets used. Imagine it back in the day, all those years ago, people would have to come down and just sit there nicely, but we uh, all can't be bothered nowadays. And believe it or not, um, up until the 1930s, uh, between 18 and 19, 1930s, Western actually had a uh, little tram system. And uh, where that um, gym and spa is, it's so where they used to uh, keep them. And they'll go down that long road. And um, go down up and down the seafront and actually come all the way to here. And it was, I think it's its main purpose was to uh, originally um, people would come from like Cardiff, Newport, stop off at the uh, 
um, that northern jetty there which actually has uh, two or three levels to it obviously because of the tide if you look carefully enough you can see it um, and then luggage we put on the little tiny little train on rails to come down the uh, pier itself and then get on the train get, get on the tram down there to the to the, uh, to the town centre get drunk and then go back and on the evening time <laughs> yeah thing is though wherever you go if you've got a camera if you in Westland wherever you go or down the seafront you always get like there's always like a very easy picturesque photogenic photo you can take I mean like like this now I can just point in this direction and there you go you've got everything in one image And if you, uh, if you look just about there, old turnstile, the old gate posts. And the turnstile there as well. Been here all this time. You can see it there where it's, it's collapsed there only recently. There as well, it's collapsed. That's only uh, past few years that's happened. And then obviously, Northern Jetty there that was uh, about five years ago. I noticed it starting to uh, sag a bit. And then, and then, fast forward, look at it, and that's what it's like now. The same, really. Um, obviously, um, it is. Uh, obviously a lost cause there's nothing we can do about it it's too big it's too complicated it's too dangerous it's too expensive and because it's because of it's a grade 2 plus listed building it's of incredible uh, in historic importance and um, so getting permission to do anything with it is uh, is uh, is, is a lengthy, uh, is a lengthy, difficult process. But if you're interested in Victorian history, this is definitely one to look at because of its, its size and how difficult it would have been to build it back then. I just imagine it's actually quite extraordinary. If you think about it, um, this was used during the uh, Second World War. The, um, the Admiralty wanted to get rid of it because they were concerned about its, you know, use with the enemy and whatnot. So they uh, they ordered it to get demolished. But the owner at the time said that, "Oh, you can't, you can't do it because of how it's built. If you remove one little part of it, the whole thing collapses, and it'll be really dangerous." So the Admiralty decided to um, to use it for experiments like the bouncing bomb, and uh, it was renamed. Um, uh, it, I can't remember if it was RMS or HMS uh, Burnbank. But yeah, look at the tides coming in. By the Yeah, you can see how it's collapsed. It's <clears throat> see how it's collapsed there. You can put what obviously tell. Believe, believe it or not, just where that is on the rocky bit underneath, 
there. You can still see little bits of evidence of where there used to be a man-made lake there. Because coming out into my direction, directly from there, there used to be a big um, sort of um, boat slide that would uh, you'd shoot down. It was quite high. It was quite high up as well. It was higher than the it was higher than the jetty, and you'd just get in the boat, shoot down, and uh, skim across the water. I do, you know, hundred years ago. Hmm. Incredible to think. This is all those years ago. I mean, building it now would be difficult and expensive. I mean, let's say all of that just actually got demolished, right? Do you know how much it would cost to completely rebuild a new one from scratch? Looking at at least 50 million. Think about back then when they built it, uh, 1860, probably about 70 grand back then. But I tell you, but when um, um when um the Grand Pier first burnt down in night in nineteen thirty and it was rebuilt, that the pavilion itself, you know, mainly wooden with a metal skeleton, that cost about seventy um, grand in the nineteen thirties just um, to rebuild the pavilion, which is probably worth about nearly four million in today's money. There you go, little, nice little history lesson. Yeah, history lesson, you'd be surprised. I mean, look at like the transatlantic cable came. Um, one of them ended up here. And down by where... With... with uh, uh, Richmond Street, that's it. Richmond Street, there's a, there's a building there that used to have... You can still see a little logo on the on the uh, wall outside somewhere but uh, Transatlantic Cable Company I think the way I went from from, our, from the beach here pop, stopped off at Ireland and then went all the way to America and believe it or not first person to ever use the very first ever Transatlantic, Transatlantic Cable was Queen Victoria she sent a telegram to um, oh I don't. Uh, I can't remember which president it was now. Met too many of them. Queen Victoria sent a telegram to the president at the time um, mm -hmm. through Morse code. Yeah, she. Was, Queen Victoria was the first person ever to you to communicate with America from here. Crazy, that isn't it? Bear in mind that was like the th like the fourth attempt of getting the transatlantic cable done. <sighs> Where to now? Let's go back down those steps there. These cars here. I doubt any of them have actually um, paid for the parking. There you go, the lights come on now. So uh I'll make my way back. I've still I'm still be live obviously and you can see it slowly go from this to dark and see how the lights come on. It's always a good spot for fishing. To think they built all this like, 150 years ago. All this wall here, it was just, just it was just cliff. Very difficult terrain to build on, but they still managed to do it back then. 
I tried to do it now, it's still be difficult. Expensive. It's just, just cliff, just rock and cliff going all the way up to um, Albury Woods. Very steep ground. There you go. How's that for you? Thing is, it's steep home and flat home weren't there. It would be quite noticeable that if they suddenly disappeared, they would it would be very strange. When it's, when it's really foggy in the distance and you can't see for whales, fleet home or steep flat home or steep home, it's very strange. <laughs> Too cold. It's a bit, it's a bit, nip, it's a bit, little bit nippy, but it's not fully hot weather. The wind's pretty cold now. Not long I've been going on for now. How long have I been streaming for? Because I've been used like 10% battery. I think it's only right of me to be uh, able to share this with all of you. When I, st when I streamed uh, I streamed yesterday I wasn't expecting so many um, likes and follows and comments and I was I was shocked. But obviously it's really really appreciated and it's really nice and reassuring for me. I mean, why did they build this and not make it into like a massive sort of viewing viewing platform? Oh, hang on, this is the lifeboat um, charity, isn't it? They could have made this into a big like, viewing space, but nope. Shame, but well. You know, it seems like a like a. Some people think it's like a like a long walk to Burnbeck, but it's only around the corner. It's not that far away at all. You you can't help but think in your mind that it's bloody miles and miles away, all the way over there. But it's not actually that far. It's only a long way if you're going from like from the completely other side of the you know 
western, but if you're in town, it's only about it's only a ten minute walk to get there. Plus, you get to see all that view on the way. For someone that has a fascination with history, Victorian history, um, architecture, history, anything like that, I mean, yeah, it appears the Grand Pier was built in like 1903 or something, but Birnbeck um, is uh, definitely one um, to look at. It's, it's quite extraordinary. It's, you know, giving its uh, history and everything. Ah, see now, I don't know whether that's this device uh, vibrating or it's just my hands getting pins and needles. So he's decided to go out of focus. Bit of it. There we go. So I mean, I've just pointed it in that direction, and it's already a very photogenic image. You've got all that depth, distance, and angles, and. All that flat water. Same distance, nothing happened with this. I think it's because a lot I think it's because a lot of, a lot of people can be lazy so they just tend to like just hang around central town. Or come a little bit down the uh seafront until you get to this uh you go around the uh the curve but you stop before it suddenly bounces the uh, you know, curves the other way. You tend not to tend not to go any further unless you've got a hotel up here. But other than that, people tend to just stay down, you know, centre of town and whatnot. Now, I did notice my stream yesterday, it kept uh, my I don't know how much battery, so I used my tablet, and I did notice that it kept trying to refocus, but I think that might be because uh, in the window it's a bit of a, it's a, a, bit, of a, a bit of a sort of smudge, but for on the outside. Due to the, uh, just the atmosphere out here, it does get like it. Can't be helped. There we go, another picturesque one. So everything just seems to just sit in place, just right. Oh.
can dig it. There's a pier in the background, just sitting right in that gap. Just trying to keep that. bit of uh, wind to uh, give the water a little bit of texture so it doesn't look like a complete mirror see okay, now right now this it shouldn't be this cold right now it should be like nice and sort of comfortably warm at like 18 degrees right now in the summer that's what it should be right now But given all the uh, scientific advances with the uh, COVID vaccination and whatnot, and how amazing the NHS has been, um, should see a uh, should be back to normal this summer. Um, hopefully, by you know, by the summer, during the summer. Because if that's the case, uh, Western should, this summer should be Western's busiest ever season, summer season ever in its history. Go abroad on holiday this year. It's too early. Just saw the pandemic. I timed that just right. This is where the RNL lies currently situated. Due to the, uh, con the obviously the concern for their um, safety, the current um, condition of Birkbeck Pier, which is fair enough, and they've uh, picked a good place. Very convenient for them. Post due to the cold. <laughs> the lens is a little bit smudged very well. well. I'm just so you know, um, next month I'm going to be um, be doing uh, things like this. But, with, uh, but in 360. So it's exactly as you see it right now, but you'd be able to click and drag or drag with your finger um, the image and see everything around or, or, or at the same time. Amazing beach ranges. Always have beach ranges. Can't remember, but um, where well, they do great, they do great stuff. There's always like a massive piece of wood just somewhere on on the seafront somewhere, just a big big log tree stump or something.
hopefully people behave themselves. I find quite extraordinary and actually very nice. It's Crazy Hills uh, little uh, little golf course. It's been here I don't know how long, but it's exactly the same. It's, just, it's never changed. It's exactly the same as I remember it when I was a child. Grandparents. So tight. Still, got that little golf course, nice sort of like nice nostalgia trip. <laughs> oh, focus. Focus. Oh, no, that's me. You don't want to look at me. <laughs> It's like, like all the all the, uh, the bars down there that are always really popular you know, during this time period of the year. It's, the, it's just been shut, and it's like I don't know how they've been surviving. They must be renting their rooms out for uh, uh, respect for residents rather than tourists. Bad. See, uh, the pier is uh, put a big spot, bigger uh, sort of. Purposely purple, you know, bluish, purpley sort of light right on the front, as a tribute to the NHS. The absolutely extraordinary organisation that is the National Health Service. Having trouble focusing.
Yeah, that didn't help, did it? <laughs> Whoops. Come on. Try to give the lens a wipe. Go on, focus. I think they put this uh, seawall barrier up, but they could, could have given it more of a traditional look. Because I don't think the past 20 years it's just been like chrome and metal and glass. Rather than just actually thinking about making it look nice, rather than like, oh, 21st century, everything has to be metal, glass, chrome. I won't be surprised if that pavilion weighed a hundred times more than the previous one. I won't be surprised. That all glass is wet. The camera is making it look a little bit brighter than it really is. It's actually a, bit, a little bit darker than that. Send all the should send all the drink as I have an idea.
for that time being. what I've seen on the news on the government website I'm actually, I'm actually starting to feel a bit more a bit optimistic about um, this summer season Yeah, that's really bad. <laughs> Is that any better? Uh, not really.
I heard a rumour they might be they're thinking about maybe returning the old clock to the seafront. It used to be here. I have to say that was uh, quite a nice walk. Well, I'm going to have to conclude this live stream and uh, and thank you very much for all of your uh, for all of your follows and likes and comments and all that and. Uh, I shall see you soon. It should be too long, so I want to do this again. It's just work depending, obviously. Um, and I shall see you soon. Thank you very much. <laughs>